Hello and welcome to the MNAS Build the Four Guide or tutorial on how to get it to work. All you're gonna need is something to extract a 7-zip file, um, a bra ISO, and that's really it. Because I include everything else you need. This is only gonna be also about how to make it for Dolphin. So, really, for Dolphin, the best way to describe it is that everything's almost done except for one thing you need the ISO so as you can see here there's this thing called build ISO go into the build ISO brawl builder open brawl builder and it's gonna have these three things for the brawl ISO you're gonna browse and you're going to go into the folder that has the brawl ISO so for instance it's in my this touch real folder there then it's going to ask you for the mod folder browse and it's going you're going to have in the if I'm correct in the build you're going to have something called pf2 select that then gtc gct file you're not even going to do you're not going to remove sub subspace unless you want to change game id to r S B E M N. This has to be in all caps. Change game title. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, my naming convention is usually by how many, what the version are, aka how many ISOs I made. So, for instance, this would be, let's say, like. So, for this instance, let's say. So, yeah. So this is the ISO. So I usually say there, but we could do P plus there. This name does not really matter that much. You can name it whatever. But uh, I'm just gonna go with my usual naming convention. And then this is optional but you may put a custom banner which should be this one right here the RSB MN BNR open that and then you just click build ISO and you build and it will ask you where you want to put it now one of the main things is that you need to go where you want to put it is you want to look at by opening dolphin you want to see where it wants it so for instance go to paths and it asks you where your default ISO is you want to put your default you're going to want to pretty much you can put the ISO anywhere it's just that when you go into the default ISO path in dolphin you have to make sure that this is the ISO you make so for instance I have it here this is the one I use for m myself. It's in a different spot, but you have to make sure that this is says your default ISO. Then you click this and it should work. All right. That's all there is to it. And if you've done everything correctly, it should work. All right. And that's it.